Good morning, folks. Uh, no, before you ask, I'm not at a Chanel factory sale, okay? This is not a star sale at the Chanel boutique on Bond Street. Nope, this is Horse Cars Parade, would you believe? Uh, compete with lots of rich people this morning uh, because I guess Raffles is probably pretty much fully booked. Why? Because we have the visit coming uh, today. State visit of the President of South Korea. But more important than that, everybody, we actually have access to horse guards. That's right. It's hard to believe after not having had access pretty much all of yesterday, but we've reopened. Look. He's back. The Gatesman is back, everybody, under the Korean flag. South Korean flag uh, for the pedants among you. I just tend to call it the Korean flag. North Korea isn't fundamentally that important in terms of international relations. There we are. Anyway, so the guards are back um, and horse guards are reopened. Taurus are back, guys. They are back in force. There are lots of them. Look. Regimental changeover this morning. What does that mean? It means that in the yard here, there are tons of tourists already. And the reason I'm going to quickly dash myself through uh, is not because I don't care about the lovely guards. I do, guys. That's why I'm here, to film them. But, 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 we briefly have a moment to get in the tunnel without getting screamed at. And correctly, so by the place for getting in the way of the guards as they ride out. And they will be riding out shortly. Uh, if I don't manage to get back to the tunnel time to capture it, it doesn't matter. Why does it not matter? Because there's going to be a lot of movement here this morning. Half the regiment in, half the regiment out, blah, 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 the usual stuff. Now, interestingly enough, I'm going to the back here for a few minutes. One, because it's the last chance we'll get to be at the back here before they lock all of this down, either this afternoon or tomorrow morning, uh, when the president arrives. This is how it's going, guys, the prep so far. I'm not going to walk all the way over because it's not fundamentally that interesting. I just thought I'd show you because this is a rarity. A state visit, including a stopover here at Horse Guards main pavilion in the centre there and the third one on this side. I'm not actually entirely sure why they need three. I'm guessing uh, dignitaries, staffers, PR people, translators, blah, 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 blah. In other words, all the extras will be in the little side ones and uh, representatives on this side, British Royal Family that is, I have no idea who's coming yet, uh, will be in the main one and then that one over there, I don't know what, what that one is. Maybe it's the toilets, I've got no clue. Anyway, you get my point. There are three little pavilions. That's right, folks, three pavilions. They have tri pavilion the back of horse guards. Um, we saw pavilions over there during the Trooping the Colour period, obviously because uh, certain royals, Princess Anne, for example, uh, much like also the Princess of Wales, also have military titles. The uh, Princess Anne, of course, being a blues of royals. Right, I think they're imminently going to close this tunnel, guys, so I'm going to get myself back in before that happens and into, hopefully, a very good spot to capture the blues. Fingers crossed, that's the plan as they arrive. But the lifeguards will need to leave before the blues can arrive. At the moment, everybody's sort of loitering and hoping to catch a good glimpse. They will catch a glimpse because everybody through the gates right now, over there, I can see the lifeguards already mounted and ready to leave. Now the question this morning is going to be the best spot to actually capture them from. It's pretty, pretty, pretty busy to be fair. For a Monday morning actually, yeah, it's crazy busy. Yeah, I think I'm going to go over onto this corner. Uh, one, because the majority of tourists won't, I hope. Oh, here we go, look. They're all being sent over, everybody, look. Peasants go that way. Ho, ho, ho. Wait, wait for the officer to tell me to go over there as well. <laughs> that said, I am a self-confessed peasant, everybody, so I have no trouble if uh, if I get lumped in with the main group of peasantry. At the moment, um, I'm a, a peasant alone, a lot on the line, a lone peasant. Okay, right, there's our, or one of our favourite lifeguard troopers. Not only is he doing some... Uh, helmet adjustment very kindly for his colleague but he's also removed the chain already 
Uh, what's happened is that the plume got a teeny weeny bit uh, twisted around the front in the wind. Good man, eh? Great stuff to see. Uh, let's have a little look at the clock and see what time it is, I think. Yeah, we've still got around about eight or nine minutes until it hits 11 o'clock, but the lifeguards will leave any moment. That's why the police have pushed all of the peasantry behind the line, everybody. Uh, and this peasant, me, your narrator, uh, is also behind the line. The most inter interesting thing for me this morning is going to be which of the horses the Blues choose to bring. Now, will they, by some absolute miracle, uh, decide to bring back the glory that is Q10? That's the question. <laughs> so I just want someone I know over there, funny. Will they bring back Q10? I mean, I certainly hope so, I really do. No guarantees, folks. It's highly, highly unlikely, in all honesty. Uh, he being a lifeguard horse and all that, but then again, they're rolling out the carpet with, uh, with lovely horses this week because they're going to have some very important visitors. I, I dare say there will be a multitude of photo ops at the front. This place is going to be attracting a lot of attention. Every single South Korean visiting London or who lives in London in the next few days will be here at Horse Guards. Uh, and rightly so, in fact. It's not every day we get a state visit, uh, let alone by the president of South Korea. We've got a service dog over here. Uh, I know that's a service dog because on the side it has service dog written. Um, and that lady took her dog up super close to the horse and it was fine. And I don't know exactly which service dog, um, but it does say service dog on the... I don't even know what to call that. <laughs> My friend said, what is that, like a, a dog saddle? I don't have a dog. I'm not a dog person. I'm not a horse person. So I don't know what that thing is on the dog's back, guys. It looks like a saddle, but then again, people don't ride dogs, as far as I know, so... Righty-ho, the gates are open. I guess that means we're off any moment. Here we go. Ta-da! Got lovely light for it this morning as well, folks. Light is absolutely superb. Look, the horses are super enthusiastic to see us. Look. Uh, woo! Magnificent. And this beauty at the end, look at that. Whoa. If I were a Frenchman, I would say c'est super. That was wonderful. Look. Those horses have made an absolute army of tourists happy and delighted. They're running through to ask the horses for their autographs. Look. Please, horse, what's your name? Can I get your autograph? Can I get a hoof print? This is Monday morning, folks. That's right, all of these people uh, are obviously unemployed. There is always a rumour going around that on Sundays and Mondays they do give out free food here at Horse Gods. I can categorically confirm it's not true, okay? If you're unemployed and hungry, do not come to Horse Gods. There is no free food. So all these people, hopefully, uh, are not here just for the food. I'm hoping they're here for... I'm trying to think of a way to, to put the word autograph and horse in, in, a, in as a mixture. Horsograph. Horse Horsograph. They're here for horsegraphs. Yep, horsegraphs. That is the glory of Whitehall on Monday morning, folks. Look, the traffic is actually, rarely, very unusual to see it. Traffic is actually moving. Yeah, it is. It's not a massive bus car park for once. Um, I'm waiting here for a little bit longer because blues are going to be arriving any moment. The thing is, we don't actually know when. 10.55. Oh, you know what? I've got a better idea, guys. I am also going to go into the tunnel. And the reason I'm going to do that is because once we see the blues arriving, I can dash back through and capture them from that corner. The difficulty at the moment is because of the way that the back is set up, they don't come to the Gars Memorial and then ride directly across the parade ground anymore. They kind of come in at a diagonal. I can, however, see uh, the first police vehicle. I'm gonna grab a spot right on the corner here. There's the first police vehicle. If I zoom us in, like massively zoom us in. I have no idea how good the quality is gonna be. Anyway, there's the first police vehicle. Notice it's coming across on the corner. Super, super tight. Uh, and behind is a massive troop of blues. I don't think we've got, um... No, we haven't got a long guard this morning. 
Maybe it's just an optical illusion. It looks like a hell of a lot of troopers to me. It's not. It's maybe 12, 15. Very hard to see from here. Anyway, point is they've arrived. The second they line up in a second will be my cue. Morning. It'll be my cue to run back uh, through the tunnel. Get myself to the front, everybody. Uh, back on the corner. That way we'll get to see every single horse up close and personal uh, as they ride in and go to the stable area. Funny, isn't it, actually, in some way, that um, the pavilions that they're building for the state visit uh, take priority. I think the horses should stampede through the pavilion uh, and assert their historic right of way. Oh, photographer. <laughs> I know the photographer. He's like, right out in the front. I'm really hoping that the, uh, the blue is not going to run him over. Yeah, look, what a trooper. Look. It gets much closer. This kind of distance is almost a bit of an optical illusion. It almost looks like camels travelling across the desert. One, because of the colour of the gravel. Uh, and two, just because of how far away we are. Anyway, folks, for those of you, of you that don't know, and I'm sure most of you, especially you regulars, must remember that this building is indeed the old Admiralty building. There it is, looking lovely. OK, Blues are entering onto the parade ground. We're going to be super careful because there's a massive puddle. Okay, so they're going to come over pretty close to us, and then they're going to turn to their right uh, and form up on the parade ground. They're not coming through the tunnel just yet. That's going to happen in about a minute or, or two after they've actually lined up, formed up opposite the lifeguards. So apologies for uh, the tourist head skies in the frame. I zoom in a teeny bit, we can see this blue's a bit clearer. But yeah, they're going to line up first. Looks like they're about to stampede through the tunnel and squish some tourists, but they're not. Look, last minute, they're tricking us, and boom, off they go to line up. And that, everybody, is my cue to dash back through the tunnel right now, fast. It's okay. And bingo, we're in. A bunch of awkward tourists there. <laughs> Got their noses in the camera. Okay, right. Back through the tunnel. Okay, now I can do a very quick, very quick and sharp left. Okay, I'm over. Boom. Right, folks, I'm back on the corner, the magic corner. We might have a minute or two to wait, but they're coming through shortly. We know that, that's what matters. Not a lot's happening at the front right now. My friend's filming the horses at the front, but most of the tourists, as you saw, uh, dashed straight through the tunnel to the back. Okie dokie. Good morning, trooper, sir, in uh, uniform number two. There we are, look at that. The way the light pops through from Whitehall, falls on the yard. Magnificent. I'm super intrigued to see if we can spot any uh, regular horses. Um, we've had a lot of regular horses in the last couple of weeks. I have no idea if the Blues are going to, this week, bring the same horses um, bearing in mind that all of the horses are going to be going out to, uh, all the ones that have been here on duty are going to be going out to uh, to grass up in Melton once this place closes in a couple of weeks. So there is that. So we've still got the lifeguards on duty. One behind me, we've got a lovely lo lifeguard in his number two uniform next to me. Bing bong, there's the bell, folks. We just hit 11. We know what happens next, don't we? I'm waiting for that clippy clop sound. If I zoom right out, everyone's being directed through the smaller gate. After those blues, those first blues come in in a couple of minutes, the boxman at the front will be changed over. So we've got quite a bit happening in the next 20 to 30 minutes. But after these blues coming in, in, in just a moment, I will head to the front uh, and capture the horses being changed over. I didn't even get time to have a good look at which lifeguard horses they've got there actually this morning. So I'm secretly hoping we might get either Titan, Ormond, uh, TA, if we're crazy lucky, Q10. But you know what? We'll find out in a few minutes. Also had a lot of regular faces among the troopers in the last two to three weeks. So I'm wondering actually whether they're going to have the same troop. Um, I think most troopers that have been here recently are from Troop 2. Anyway, here we go. Let's find out. I'm at one zoom as they come through the tunnel. Which beauties have we got this morning? 
Oh, there's a familiar face on a very, very beautiful horse. Magnificent. Oh, who doesn't want to go into the stables? He's like, you know what? I'm not going to work today. Look, that horse has quit. He was first, now he's second. There's a big fluffy beauty as well. Oh, wow. Here we go, guys. Look, Titan at the end. There is glorious, magnificent, and so massive, I can't get him in the camera. Titan. Wow, wow, wow. Will we see him in the box, I wonder? 18 hands, three worth of horse there at the back, folks. Yep, he is the largest horse in the Blues and Royals, okay, by some margin. The reason that Q10 looks larger is that he's taller. However, Q10 isn't even a Blues and Royals horse, he's a lifeguard horse. So Q10 and Overlord are the two biggest horses in the lifeguards. It's funny because um, Overlord has something of a thoroughbred look to his face. So if we stood Overlord next to Titan, and I've been in the boxes with both of them, the bigger horse is definitely Titan, okay? Just because he has the bulk. However, how do we define the largest horse? I mean, yes, we know the, the equine measurements in terms of hands. The, high, the, the tallest, highest from the ground, 100%, has got to be Q10, okay? But if you take into consideration the bulk, as well as the height of the horse, in other words, the whole entire horse, I think Titan grabs, uh, grabs the, the title, folks. I think Titan is actually the biggest. He's just such a colossus when he walks through. You saw in that tunnel, I had to move myself way back into the corner to even fit his body in the frame. And I wasn't zoomed in at all, I was at one. Yeah, definitely Titan is the, uh, is the crown holder, guys. He has the record. That said, uh, morning. And no respect to, uh, no disrespect rather to the old boy. Uh, Q10 is a finer looking horse. What I mean by that? I mean, he has that certain sort of, you know, I am a king's horse, don't look with me, look on his face. Just, it's just naturally there. Remarkably this morning, even though it was grim when I first switched on the camera up at Trafalgar Square, look at how the light is illuminating this side of the yard. Behind me, it's just pure doom and gloom. There's no light at all, but look at that. More importantly of all, folks, how wonderful is that shadow? Look at the shadow. I zoom in a teeny bit. The shadow of the lifeguard on the wall behind him. Damn, it's moments like this that I wish I actually had a proper camera with me uh, and I was just doing still photography. That is a wonderful shot. Magnificent. I can't get close enough to take a proper picture anyway because that corner in front of the archway is, uh, is closed. I'm going to try and be careful with, uh, with where I stand this morning. Um, we are going to have the boxman change over in a few minutes. However, I don't ideally uh, want to miss any troop departures. No chance of that yet, because until these boxmen have been changed over, uh, the rest of the lifeguards won't be ready to leave. Lots of glamorous people actually at horse cars these days. I'm guessing so many rich people stay at the... Uh, at the hotel opposite, which at the moment is also bathed in absolutely spectacular light. Look at that. I'm sure we've got a lot of uh, South Korean zillionaires staying there, ready for uh, amazing views when that state visit happens. And if I were a South Korean zillionaire, I would be staying there as well. Gosh, it's busy this morning with, uh, with foot traffic. Who's this little beauty? Not the guard, everybody. Fine looking fellow, but I was talking about the horse. Look, he's talking, he's having a chat to himself. He's like, hmm, yeah, it wasn't a bad day. I mean, at least yesterday I had the day off. Um, it was kind of noisy. I had to listen to uh, the tank regiment uh, marching on Whitehall, but it was much more interesting than having tourists touching my nose and annoying me all day long. Um, plus, to be fair, uh, the day went by pretty quick because there was a lot to watch. Yep, see you then. He's deep in thought now. He's like, hmm, do I want to stay here for another day or two, or do I want to go back to Hyde Park and run around on the grass tomorrow morning? It's a tough, tough choice, horsey, eh? I'm thinking, folks, that this is an antisocial horse. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. He's like, what do you mean? I'm not antisocial. I just like my own space. I suffer from anxiety. I like to be left alone. I don't like to be touched all day. Look, see? Because I spend a lot of time around the horses, guys. I'm actually starting to understand what they say when they move their lips. It's not quite lip reading, but it's the next best thing. 
So this is a real beauty, actually. For everyone, uh, including this couple with their lovely baby, um, are some, for some reason choosing the other horse. Now, I think it might well be because the other horse is somewhat more uniform. What I mean by that? I mean this horse, if we look at it, is pretty much a, a perfect example of a cavalry black. But, and that's more important, guys, especially to uh, the people that were naively taking pictures not realizing, uh, this horse brings something extra uh, to everybody's pictures. Yep, it's hanging down, if you can see it. Uh, and no, guys, I'm not talking about the, uh, the scabbard. I'm talking about the secondary backup scabbard. See, even this guy, depending on the angle of his picture, he has no idea that however much he smiles, he's still got a horse's, uh, what shall I call it, uh, accoutrement in the back of his picture. As is she, no wonder she's smiling. Look, I mean, they're flooding out of the gates already. And nothing's actually even happened yet, remarkably. Now, the interesting thing is that on a relatively chilly morning like today, uh, we typically see the opposite to what we're witnessing with this horse. So, I'm guessing he's had some sweet dreams last night and is busy shaking them off. Okay, how many other toys are coming up for a picture with a big, fat horse smile uh, in the back of it? Awkward. <laughs> Lady gate crashing over on the left hand side uh, with the the white hat. Don't worry about the family that are just trying to get you know the perfect <laughs> shot. Just throw yourself in there. Take part. Volunteer. I'm thinking guys, because of the light this morning, and because it's still pretty warm, and more importantly, because it's not raining, mercifully, uh, I think it's going to be a busy one today. Yeah, I do. I'll be here quite a lot more than ordinarily this week as well. I'm not sure every day, but not far off it, uh, because we've got a lot of state occasion happening because of that presidential visit starting, as I mentioned. Uh, I say starting, I mean, the President of South Korea lands in the UK today. Uh, flying into Stansted. Uh, then there'll obviously be trips to London, check ins at the hotel, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but the actual official state occasion begin tomorrow. I'm half tempted to see what people are doing in the arches inside because I, I noticed they're crowding in the arches on the left, but I don't want to miss the, uh, the boxman getting changed over. One second. There we are. So now we've got all of it. Tourist, smiles, horse, guard. And visitors from the US, of course. Smile. Ah, I know, I know what just made him smile. The mum just said Biden. Yeah, that brought out an instant smile. I'm very surprised if this morning's uh, post palace guard change flood uh, isn't more of a deluge. We'll find that soon enough. Very proud and happy tourists this morning. Remarkable, quite a few people have got short sleeves. Why is that remarkable? It's flipping cold. Oh, they're back. This time, Mum's going to make them smile by saying Trump. So we had the Biden shot. Now we're going to get the Trump shot. Let's see which which smile is more genuine: the Biden smile or the Trump smile? What do we think, guys? Are they Republicans or Democrats? U.S. viewers, tell me. You can guess from the smile. Did they smile more for Biden or for Trump? Okay. 
numbers here this morning are pretty healthy already, look. Magnificent weather, actually. Uh, and unlike certain parts of central London, i.e. Knightsbridge and Chelsea, where everyone's getting robbed, their bags stolen, uh, and their watches ripped off their arms, at least if you read the media, uh, this place, given super high levels of security, is, uh, is crazy safe comparatively. We're going to have any naughty rain grabbers this morning, that's the key question. Okay, guys, the new uh, box winner coming out. I'm just looking at which end. Hold on. I think... Actually, no, I can't see it too far away. Thank you. These uh, toys actually managed to get their pictures taken. They'll get some room to get in front of the box. They rush folks, not as if there's a guard change going on, yeah, new horses. Oh, Deary me. Matteo was way too uh, slow with his picture. And uh, boom, which beauty is this everyone? Uh, good morning to you as well, Mr or Mrs McHorse. Now that to me looks like, oh, a smi guard smiling. It's Monday, the sun is shining, why would she not smile? Absolutely lovely thing to see. And look at what fluffy, massive beast we've got on the other end as well. Two very fine looking horses here this morning. Huh? Yeah, definite happy, uh, happy guard. And why not? It's Monday. We all love Monday mornings, guys. If you were a King's Guard or a King's Guard's woman, would you not smile this much on a Monday? I think uh, it's fair to say you would. For two reasons. One, the light. Look at the light. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, and two, look at this commute, guys. How commute to work doesn't involve a, a dirty bus or a smelly bed bug infested uh, tube train. How commute to work involves jumping up on this massive, beautiful horse uh, and heading along the mouth. If that were my commute, folks, uh, I haven't got a horse, if sadly it isn't, then I'd be happy to. So well done to that lady trooper for. Uh, being so optimistic on a Monday morning. Okay, they're going to change over the foot guards now. Um, I'm not getting in there to see it. Why? Because I'm so stupid and I got so distracted I've missed it. Well, that's just going to speak to still can through the gate, can't we? Or can we? I can't remember. <laughs> I can't even remember. <laughs> no, we're not sure. No, we're going to stay here. I really want to get uh, become a meme in your YouTube video today. <laughs> Ideally. So I'm going to play it safe guys, I'm going to stand at the front uh, and admire this magnificent horse. <coughs> it's also going to be super interesting to see exactly what happens when the tourists start rolling up in a second. They're being super well behaved today, other than the uh, slightly jumpy horse when they came in. Uh, and actually, funnily enough guys, it was this trooper, this lady trooper, that was on the jumpy horse when the horses rode in this morning. Okay, so they've retrieved, or relieved, take your pick, the lifeguard. There he is. Don't worry guys, he hasn't been arrested. This is not a, a regimental coup. Blues have not decided they want to take over the lifeguards. See, look, reinforcements just arrived. It's now two, two against two. Who's going to win? Oh, they've reached a truce. They're going in together. Okay. Calm. Calm has prevailed, guys. Very close then to, uh, to a problem. Okay, and remarkably, the, uh, the new gatesman has walked straight back into the arch without anybody uh, having to get shouted at. Chain's going up. And that now means that the Blues and Royals are the King's lifeguard, folks. That's right, the King's lifeguard. No, before any of you mention it, I'm not confusing Blues and Royals with lifeguards. The lifeguards are a regiment. The King's lifeguard uh, is what the regiment that is currently on duty here at King's are known as. 
now an awful lot of people getting onto the line and I'm wondering why. Wait, why is everyone going inside? It's finished already, no? Yeah, uh, no they're still in the, uh, they, they literally just finished it. I don't know what else is going to happen. I guess we'll see in a minute. I, I can't see anything else happening. Not yet. Oh, see, Trooper's showing up the boxes. He's like, bye bye, Mr. Horse. Is like, oh, the light, the light behind me. Okay, let me wade through a little bit, guys, while it's uh, it's possible to get closer to the other horse, uh, and we can see which magnificent beast we've got at this end. Yeah, no. Oh wow, look! I think he came from straight from the barber shop. Wow, that hair at the front. The, f the f I remember, guys, the forelock. Hey, question people, give me some credit. The forelock, see, I do read your comments. His forelock uh, is incredibly fluffy. Look at that. Honestly, guys, if I were going to buy a horsehair pillow to sleep on, it would have to be a hair like that in the pillow. Magnificent. He looks a bit sheepish, though, today. In fact, the sheepish horse. I wonder if he did anything naughty, that might be why, look, he doesn't want to make eye contact this morning, he's like, don't film me, I'm not ready. Oh. I wonder if he's got a Madonna tune stuck in his head this morning, look, swaying side to side. Beautiful face, actually, this horse has got. Actually, you know what? It's not a popular piece of music that's in his head, it's a Strauss Waltz. Yeah, beautiful blue Danube. That's why he's gently swaying. Look, swaying to Strauss. Okay, we are allowed everybody to go inside the yard now now why is that interesting well because in the yard we have a lot more smiley tourists happily posing with the guard oh, somebody mentioned actually I saw on a TikTok video that 50 cent came to London for his birthday celebrations he just passed us guys damn it, that's a pity I was gonna say Fiddy could you sign uh, could you sign my gimbal I'm not sure if this is an army officer that forgot his uh, bowler hat or whether he just decided to buy <clears throat> an army officer's umbrella. Lovely, thoroughly. Who's up next? Oh. <clears throat> she decided to dress like a lifeguard. The only problem is uh, they left before she got her picture. I love a dominant woman who takes control. Hey, look at this giving orders, putting everybody in their place. Mum knows best. One, two, three, Biden. The trooper uh, looks pretty happy. Why does he look pretty happy? Uh, because the tourists have buzzed off and he's got some peace and quiet. Look, no more tourist pictures for a moment until the next group arrive. I mean, I'd be happy if I were left alone. It's, there's that service dog, look. Guys, see this? Service dog, do not pet. Folks, which type of service dog? Is it a military service dog or is it a, um, a service dog for somebody that with a vis visual impairment? Anybody know? I don't just go and you know, chuck my camera in the woman's face and interview her about, you know, why is your dog a service dog? But I'm generally fascinated because I've never seen that here in, uh, in horse guards. Also, they made an exception. That ho um, dog was very, very close to the lifeguard horse when I first arrived this morning. And the horse seemed remarkably chill with the dog standing right next to it. Well behaved as well, like very well behaved. So yeah, there we have it, service dog. Okay, so what have we got coming up next? Right, up next, everybody, is another departure. Which departure, you might be wondering? Lifeguard departure. I can see them already mounted up beyond the gate. I'm not sure if you can kind of make that out. If I zoom in, you definitely can. Look, there they are. They're mounted up and ready. Now, I'm excited about that. Why? Because once they leave, 
we will get to see the other part of the Blues troop and more importantly which horses they brought with them. So we know 100% are Titans here, whether or not we end up seeing you in the box today, uh, that really is anybody's guess. But I'm going to stay on this side now because I do like the departures on this side and the arrivals on the other side. So I will do my very best, folks, uh, to dash across to the magic corner to film the rest of the Blues arriving. But I'm going to stay put here for the moment to capture those lifeguards leaving. I can't annoyingly see the time. Let me just have a quick look at the other phone. There's no way of knowing 100% how long we've got until they leave. It's 11.21, the calling's on for 35 minutes. Mm. It could be any time between now and 11.35, realistically. That's the problem. And those gates open so flipping quickly that if I miss it... Yeah, it'll be done. Yeah, as we know which horses are at the front, and more importantly, they'll definitely be back later in the day. I'm going to focus on the yard for the time being. I'll focus on movements here in the yard and wait for those horses to come out. We're also potentially, potentially, um, going to have the lifeguard doing his rounds quite soon. Now, I don't think we're going to get anybody wandering into the arches this morning. It's not wet, uh, and how do I explain it? Sometimes you just kind of can sense that there is a certain atmosphere and that trouble is likely. Okay, I have no clue how, but I guess over time it just sort of, yeah, it just sort of manifests in some ways. But this morning, you saw with the horse at the front, nobody was even remotely, uh, remotely cheeky. So it was all good. Oh, everyone is talking about being behind the line as well. Uh, they're actually wrong. There's no need to be behind the second line when these changeovers are going on. Uh, the line thing, the second line thing, is primarily to do with uh, when they have a full change. Anyway, they're heaving open the gates. Bingo, folks, so we got it. Let me get out of the way before I destroy any tourist videos. That's it. I'm over and in position. Morning. Bingo. Bingo dingo, folks. Look at this. Happy horses. How wonderful, eh? Absolutely glorious. And totally, totally chill this morning. Notice that not a single horse kicked off at all. Either in or out, or in the box. That said, you just know now the other Blues horses will come through in a couple of minutes, uh, and all hell will break loose. It is absolutely inevitable. Okay, let me get myself over to the other corner. Wait for those other Blues horses to come through in just a couple of minutes. The arrivals, uh, this is the arrivals area uh, of Horse Guards Heathrow Airport, everybody. Yep, this is the best corner to film the arrivals from. More importantly, it gives us a super view of the front. And that massive South Korean flag. Now, how long will it be before the Blues come through? Good question. Oh, bing bong. Uh, all passengers for flight 965 from South Korea, from Seoul, please be advised your flight is running four days late. Yep, they actually got airport style announcements here as well guys, just to make sure that anyone coming in is aware their relatives are arriving late for the state visit. Eleven twenty-four. typically it's around half past that they come in, however this morning has been particularly efficient, I must say. I'm most impressed uh, with how quickly it's all been done. A lot of it is because we've got those, those buildings, those structures at the back. So they're cutting across the parade ground, a very quick swap over. The boxmen were done very, very, very fast this morning without any hassle. No wonder the horses were so chill. Uh, and boom, and no log jam of horses in and out of the stable area either. So I guess it's a, a quadruple win overall. We just need to wait now, folks, which I know is annoying. Uh, however, we can briefly, around the corner, uh, spy. Oh, he's off. Spy the Blues Chitsman. And holy chit, that was uh, good timing, eh, for the guard to do his rounds.
Oh, wait, he's gone to the cockfighting pits. I hope he's back. Notice both the trains are up, etc. No excuses for any tourists that uh, get themselves in trouble later on. Super, eh? See that? Right, that imminent arrival. Come on, Blues, where are you, folks? The second I move, they're going to come through. If I stand here, they'll come through in half an hour. We've had this multiple times. Bear in mind, everybody, as well, uh, just to confirm, um, most of you know that Horse Guards is closing for renovations. Um, very soon, actually. Wait, what's the date today? 18th, 19th, let's have a look. Monday the 20th. Let's just say, folks, that this time next week, uh, it will almost be game over, uh, Horse Guards, for a good number of weeks. What does that mean? Hey, it's perfect timing. Why? Because one, it's the uh, holidays anyway. Christmas, etc. And two, more importantly, um, I think I mentioned before, I have many hundreds of hours of footage. Uh, a lot of the early footage going back to the spring uh, and through the King's Troop. Never been, never been posted. Yeah, I mean, many hundreds of hours, folks. Uh, so my plan, my cunning plan, uh, is going to be to utilize uh, a lot of that footage for two reasons. One, there will undoubtedly be some absolute gems that I probably didn't even know happened in that footage. Uh, but two, more importantly, uh, a lot of you do like and watch this channel, this YouTube channel, because there is narration, there's chit chat, there's back and forth, and more importantly, there's information. You know, it's a little bit more sort of two-way, participatory. And that was the case with a lot of those lives. They're TikTok lives, hundreds of hours of them. So I will post up maybe, I don't know, maybe a one-hour snippet uh, from live starting from the very beginning maybe one or two of those a day um, through the few weeks that were closed even if horse guys were open fully open um, I would not be able to, able to be out every day or even close to every day over the holidays anyway for, for obvious family and other reasons so that is my plan folks so if anything remarkably fortuitously they have decided to close this place at exactly a per for me personally not that it, you know that I matter but for me from my personal point of view the time is spot on okay uh, we will be reopening I believe um, very much at the beginning of the new year we will see um, these things are apparently fluid and again if they dig up this massive yard to start the works and God knows what they might find underneath it I don't know the last time this was dug up but I dare say it's been a, a good uh, a good few decades if not longer Oh, here's a special guest, everybody. This is Banana Man. A lot of you will remember him. He'll talk to the police. He hasn't got his banana this morning, though. No banana. Well, not the banana we were expecting. Oh. He actually didn't try and have a discussion about his banana this morning. Maybe he's quickly running to the, uh, the Tesco's on Trafalgar Square to buy a banana. But he's called Banana Man. He actually called himself that, Banana Man, because he's very well known here lovely guy eccentric guy but he would always come along with a banana and he'd hold it like a water pistol and pretend to shoot people with his banana harmless but yeah uh probably not the, the smartest thing to do in this kind of environment uh given that you know officers have carbide automatic weapons etc there we are anyway back to my point about the break that folks uh, is the plan it might change we will see but i'm definitely thinking that will be the smart option uh, because there'll be so much golden material uh, that not only all of you, but even myself, never seen. So yeah, I'll start digging into the archives, everybody, um, and see what I can pull out. Uh, the only downside to that is that, as I mentioned, those are TikTok lives. Uh, it means they're not in 4K, unlike this glorious footage. Um, however, they are two-way. I, I do speak and chit-chat and the rest of it. Plus, you know, we can, I can see how I... Uh, expanded my knowledge and got a little bit more confident around this place I guess over the last few months from that material because a lot, some of those early lives and I'll try and dig out my first ever live here at Horse Guards and post that as the first you know Horse Guards is closed but this is my first ever live video because yeah <laughs> I'll probably make myself blush if I watch it but at the same time it'll be uh, bittersweet uh, knowing how much the knowledge uh, has increased in the months since I think offhand that the first ever live here was either in February, <clears throat> February, March, April 
of this year. So yeah, less than a year ago, considerably less in fact. So waiting for those blues to come through. Have we hit half past yet? Yeah, it's 11.31. I have no idea actually why, why they are waiting so long this morning. All of the lifeguards are out there. The blues, the second half of the blues troop is still sitting there, uh, waiting for the nod to come into the yard. At least after that, once they come in, we will know all of the horses that are here today. And more importantly, uh, I can then focus on the front uh, in what will probably be, depending on how much longer we need to wait for them, part two. But we'll see. Aha, I can hear it. Oh yes, folks, here we go. Oh, one horse is super enthusiastic. It was running through the tunnel. One, and two, and three. Whoa, number three is a big beauty. Four, five. Oh wow, look at this one, look at this beauty. Yes, you are. Look at you. Whoa, I think that's TA. I'm pretty sure that's TA, guys. I'm not sure about the horse at the back, but I'm pretty certain that horse, second to last, had absolutely no markings at all. Huge horse. Morning. Beautiful horse. Pretty sure that's t that was TA, that horse. Yeah, got to be TA. Right. Okay, so we saw all of the horses arriving, all of the horses leaving. The changeover is done. The deluge begins. I'm going to see how bad it gets, folks. I mean, good, bad. Um, the main sort of squash of people typically arrives after the guard change is finished at the palace. That hasn't happened yet because it's too early. I think, actually, wait, let me look at the time on the other phone. It's 11.33, so the guard change at the palace is, uh, is barely finished. This is the, uh, the pre-deluge. So let's go to the front for a little while, uh, see what happens with the horses and then I'll decide what to do with uh, potential part two or not. Okay, the troop is actually putting up the middle chain as well. Oh, he just went to put up the middle chain and uh, this chain fell down. A oh, little cheeky smile there. This chain's a pain, this one, on this side because it's heavy, very heavy. One on the right-hand side. Okay, we are good, folks. Yep. I did mention he forgot his banana. Okay, at the front we are. Whoa, look. Fluffy giants right out in the middle of the street. I actually do like it when they bring the horse right out into the middle of the street. Not because it makes it easier for the tourists to pose, but because it really does give us more of an idea of just how massive that horse is. Extraordinary, isn't it, really? Magnificent. Oh, lucky this guy with the sunglasses moved out of the way. Got an awful lot of people in front of him. Is he going to go left, right, or straight through the gates? I wonder. Somebody's been collecting leaves. Look, lucky tourists. That would have been uh, <laughs> that would have been interesting if he walked through the guy with the leaves. Leaf man, we're going to call him. Look, I'm not sure if he's a, a part-time lizard collector who decided to diversify. He's got into leaf management. It was as much money in the regular waste. And boom, here we are, folks, back at the front. In fact, right at the front. Like, very, 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 very much at the front. Now, the key thing is going to be which horse the tourists prefer. Because you know what? I have no idea. I'm not sure. I hope this guy's not trying to use a lavatory over there in the blue coat because it kind of looks like he's taking the, the position, getting ready for it. I think he probably went to Masala Zone last night, had a really heavy curry and isn't sure what to do about it. Oh, he's run off, guys. He's run up to the public uh, facilities at Trafalgar Square. OK, 
kudos to that man for not doing it here on the street. There are kids around. Of course, it's like, bring it on, guys. I'm ready. Get near to me, upset me, and see what happens. Look, in that sort of viper pose, then he's asleep. I know your tricks, horsey. I'm not getting anywhere near. <laughs> you can tell that he's waiting patiently. Brave enough to get close yeah, yet. <laughs> Sorry? Ah, uh, some of them, I'm not going to say anything, but yeah, some of them be, be a bit careful. 100%. Oh, there's a lot of people are here actually waiting to see whether or not um, we've got a nipper. Interestingly, guys, look at the light hitting the walls through the gate. You wouldn't believe it, would you? Unless you'd actually seen it here on this on this recording, that the light could very briefly, it won't last, be that spectacular. Excuse me, tourist. <laughs> oh, excuse me, tourist. Dog walker, look. The guy's got half a dozen dogs. I think that's a sheep, is it not? The, uh, at the back. <laughs> Cute. I like the way that he said, excuse me, Taurus. A local dog walker. Yes, I heard you. <laughs> See, look, none of them are getting even remotely close to the horse's mouth. Which is probably smart, to be fair. We know what's going to happen. Say again? I mean, to be honest, this also has a thousand people panning every hour on a, on a busy morning. They've got a lot of nippy ones though in this regiment. Uh, they are, but again, you know, there's no actual hard and fast rule that says you're not allowed to touch the horse. So even though we might think it's not ideal for the horse, and I agree with you. Yeah, but at the same time, if, for example, for the past you know, 250 odd years, this has been the way it's been, and people have been touching, yeah, who's yeah. going to be brave enough to stand up and change it? You know, it's, it's, it's a difficult one, this, because a lot of people think there should be railings at the front, and maybe there should be, but then again, sometimes the horses kick off, and they would, they would hurt themselves. So it's, it's very difficult. Plus, this area at the front here is owned by the council. Yeah. Everywhere through the gates is owned by the army. Yeah. So the horses at the moment are standing half in the army territory, half in the public territory. It's a typical weird British thing. Yeah. But if anyone gets super close to this horse, they're definitely going to get, uh, yeah, they're going to get nipped, 100%. that the, uh, the guard is keeping quite a tight hold on the reins this morning. Uh, there's a good reason for that. <laughs> you know she's got a nipper. I'm also wondering why actually the other horse is still way out of the box, completely out of the box, look 100% in the middle of the street. Yeah, everyone is still massively preferring this horse, even though the photo ops at that end are, uh, are actually superior. I think the guards decided to reverse the horse a bit into the box. I don't think he realised how far the horse had come out, actually. Hey, morning. See you for a while. <laughs> I know you've been spending a lot more time in the Cayman Islands, the Seychelles, all that cash, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing, I think, when the palace car change is done shortly. Yeah. Should go 11.40, yeah. Should go bananas, we'll see. We out yesterday. I didn't see this. We out yesterday. Or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you realise it was still closed. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it wasn't the best day yesterday for horse cars material, that's for sure. It's not, it's not only that, it, it was the fact that um, it was very, very, very busy. Anyone didn't get here super early to get a spot of there. There was, there was not much to see. So you probably made the smart call by watching it. The toys are still rolling up, guys, but look, they are standing super far away. Look. Switzerland. Ah, because he needs to be the person to sign those uh, those deposit forms for the gold bars. So, uh, he, <laughs> used, he used to do these uh, walks, uh, international walks. Okay. So, he, he, this was the thing he did in the very point. He started doing that again. So, he went all the way to Switzerland to do some walks? Yeah, I, I like his commitment, I really do, I tell you. It's amazing. This, this channel, he only walks like I talked to him about that when he comes back. It's the Swiss secret. Oh, there we are. Look, of course, is ready to nip somebody's face. <laughs> ah, he's smiling at Taurus, but he doesn't know how close he got. Tomorrow, you know, tomorrow the uh, South Korean president will be here. He's, he, he's arriving today, but he'll be here at Horse Cars tomorrow. I just don't know what time exactly. I'll try and find that tonight. It, it will be, but there'll be a lot of traffic and just a lot of going on generally. An unusual event. No, I think I'll be here for it. Viper like face, guys. There. How, how quickly the horse nips at that guy. It's always begging me to go forward. It's like, try it, punk. Surprised he didn't uh, call the horse Dirty Harry. Ready for it? <laughs> oh, 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 boom! The guy is super chill. He just says steady on to the horse. He's like, I used to be in the SAS. Don't even bother. Look at this smiling. She knows. Uh, she knows this uh, horse almost gave the, the toys a face transplant. <laughs> Okay, so stay zoomed in on the Viper, everybody. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> Oops, Viper. <laughs> wow. She was quite brave, actually. <laughs> Not to run away. <laughs> uh, how the girl keeps a straight face. She did smile just now, but that was that was super funny. Okay, wait for it. <laughs> oops, oops, oops. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I was just saying the horse is Oh goodness me. Parents are trying to make the kids get closer but they're saying no. 
Well, we've got a long reach, but it's not, it's not quite that far. <laughs> Brilliant. Perfect toys for a peasant horse, folks. The good and bad news, people, is that um, this horse will be leaving very shortly. Um, I just, yeah, I just realised actually, yeah, 14 minutes, uh, and the horse is off duty. So I'm going to wait and see, folks, who's on next. Uh, we might get lucky; it might be Titan. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Everyone, everyone that saw that is obviously not getting close now after what we're just uh, the pony's health. Uh oh, a lot of new arrivals who have no idea. Look, whoops! Oh, goodness me! Wow, this lady with her nice bag and uh, Burberry scarf. Not that close. Not that close. It depends. Do you like the way you look now? No, I'm not getting that close. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Some people have got very close to getting close. <laughs> I'm not getting that close. Don't worry, this horse never bites or nips anyone, I promise. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> Do it, chap. <laughs> as far as I'll go, how you doing? Ah, brilliant. Smart man. Oh wow, these people are just arriving, we've got no clue what they're letting themselves in for. away from the horse that to be honest though, folks I mean I'm, I was laughing about it because wow it's so funny the guy's reaction but at the same time being serious yeah it could be uh, could be pretty bad it only takes somebody to pose their picture not paying attention not realizing you know that there is a very predict unpredictable live animal right behind them and somebody yeah somebody could really really get bitten the guard knows though, she's a superb horsewoman, so she knows 100% that she's got a nip on her hands. She's been on this horse many times. But they were they were smart and sensible, this this, uh, this chap here and his boy, to, to keep, keep him way back in the wheelchair just in case. It's the elderly that's slightly concerned. If anyone, uh, anyone puts themselves in particular danger, folks, I will tell them. I said, you see how tight a hold the uh, the guard has got on those reins, constantly with this horse. You saw it when the horse was uh, biting out before. Oh, 
shame the horse didn't nip his little bobble hat. Really extraordinary. Uh, not long until the change over though. Uh, I'm still debating actually whether to do a part two later today. I'm super happy this horse is here. However, this horse is going to be here for the next couple of days and I see that as being a huge positive. Uh, it's currently eight minutes to noon. I'm standing a little bit to the side uh, because the light is amazing. Plus it gives you more of a perspective on uh, on the way things are at the front. People are being very, 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 very cautious now, fortunately. But it only takes new people to come through the front gate and boom, you know, we know what happens. We've seen it many, 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 many times. Uh, so if anybody gets super close with their kids, I will uh, mention to them they need to be very, very careful with this beauty. Instantly uh, repelling Taurus. It really is the perfect solution to the argument about should people be able to touch the horses, should there be barriers, etc. etc. However, uh, I can see somebody potentially getting seriously nipped uh, and raising an official complaint. So it's, yeah, it's, it's difficult, folks. There's no, no perfect solution to an imperfect uh, problem. God immediately moved the horse when you saw the, the, uh, the child who's there alone. She immediately moved the horse back. I can't even see whose who's kid that is, guys, to, to warn them. Just walks over. Where's the, where are the parents? Ah, oh, they're walking on the path behind. Notice how alert the guard was. She moved the horse back immediately when she saw the small kid come over uh, unaccompanied. Brilliant stuff. We don't know that the horse would nip a kid, but you know what? We don't want to see that happen anyway. Here, right there. Have a little look at the other running people because we've got about seven or eight minutes uh, until the horses change over. People are happily posing with this horse up close because this one is not a nipper. The thing is, the other horse, as we know, is uh, is a beauty, so it's not really surprising. Secondly, when the horse is right out of the box, like this in the middle of the pavement, um, I think people worry that something's a little odd, a little off, and they don't get too close. I mean, this is really the furthest out I've seen a horse from the box in a good while. Look. Completely. All the way to the, uh, to the tail, right out of the box. I'm hoping actually that he's not going to suddenly storm forward and I'm, uh, as I'm filming in front. I'm going to go to slightly to one side. See, lucky this horse is not on there, but look how close people are getting. But yeah, absolutely out of the box. Extraordinary how you can have two horses here of such magnificence, but absolute polar opposite. Uh, in terms of their temperament. But honestly, I don't remember seeing a horse this far out in the middle of the street. There have been times when the horses have been brought out and there are a couple of very well-known troopers who do bring out the horses. Uh, the late and great Quasi uh, was a horse well-known, especially with some of his uh, 
his regular riders to be way out of the box in the middle of the street. I don't know if the guard uh, didn't realise just how far the, the horse had come out. He was right out there, almost blocking the uh, the public highway. Extraordinary. Wonderful thing to see, though, to be quite honest. I mean, to walk around there, actually, there's a lot of people here, look. Still nipping away. This time on the other side of the horse, so we can still see everything that happens. But this gives me the option to look at the clock as well, and it's exactly three minutes to noon. Okay, troopers come over to open up the gates at the back of the box. Horse is getting a break, uh, which means notorious getting nipped for the time being. Chocker at the front, look at it. Okay, troopers can get everybody to get back behind the line. Um, it was me getting behind the bollards as well. Respectfully behind the bollards. We'll see, folks, uh, which two new horses are brought on next, uh, and then uh, I will break. There might well be a part two to this, I'll see. If not, part two will be the uh, the events of tomorrow. the line is all the way to the other horse uh, he's still <laughs> not happy to be in the box this horse people person this one 100% uh, definitely a girl though. <laughs> in fact they're both girlings There we are, bing bong, everybody. It comes to change. No more tourist scalps are going to get claimed until this horse comes back out later this afternoon. Interesting, we've got another male female pairing. The two troopers that are coming out now. Um, male trooper is going to be in this box in front of me, female trooper in the other box behind me. I guess this guy didn't get the memo about uh, the guard change. Another one. 
Hey, my folks, this is in the middle of the guard change. <laughs> they just don't care, do they? Unbelievable. Oh god, here we go. Look, there's even more coming up now. NCO. Paul's almost doesn't want to wait, look. He's like, oh, I want to nip that London City Walls guy. Oh, oh, Prime Minister behind us, everybody. Damn it, he was on this side as well, you see that? Yeah, Rishi Sunak, right, right behind us. Okay, this horse is getting a little bit freaked out by, uh, by the lights. The accompanying vehicles, you know, definitely the uh, Prime Minister. A little entourage heading out of Downing Street. Okay, that's a change you have to take, guys. We've got... Hold on, everybody. It's the big one. It is the big one. <laughs> wow. Now, I wonder why they brought the lifeguard horse back again. Guys, uh, I'll be back in part two. And part two is going to feature this magnificent beauty. Not the guard, fine-looking as, as he is. Q10 is back, guys. I'll be back in part two. Come here.